Okay, I'm back, and um, we're going to work on these buttons. Now, these buttons are a little bit big, so before we get going, I think we should make them a little bit smaller. So I'm going to double-click on these buttons, and I need to make these guys smaller. So how am I going to do that? Well, first of all, notice when I select this, I'm selecting only the first two frames, and this frame is the same. It goes across, but not this frame. So if I want to make this smaller, this guy's going to get left out. So what I need to do is I need to look at these little buttons here, onion skin, onion skin outlines, edit multiple frames. I'm going to click this one right here, edit multiple frames, and then I will just click and drag and select both of those. All right, or click and then hold down your shift key and click this one in the bottom right hand corner to select both. And then I'll get my transform tool. And I'm going to shrink this down so that it's really the size more of a button. Okay, that's much better. More button size. Okay. Yep, that's a lot better. All right, now we'll see here. All right, and go back to scene one, and you see now that both buttons were altered by that. If I hit control, I can turn off edit multiple frames, control enter, and you'll see that still works. The button still works, but now they're more of a right button size. And if I'm not happy with that, I'll just double click on it and turn on edit multiple frames again, highlight this, and scale it down a little bit more. This time I'll just distort it by squashing it. And that looks much better. Okay, back to scene one. And I have the two buttons on the stage. I could drag out more buttons. All right. And then I could put text on my buttons or I could align them. First of all, I'll select these buttons and go to Window, Align, which opens up my Align panel. I'll align left. And then I'll do this really great thing where I distribute. Um, evenly, I can distribute e space evenly vertically so that they have the same amount of space in between them. So now I know that my buttons are lined up perfectly. And the last thing to do is to take your text tool. And what I could do here is I'll turn off edit multiple frames, make a new layer. All right. So insert um, timeline layer or just this easy little button right here. And on my new layer, Get my text tool, I can click and type home, highlight it, turn it to white, get the font size down to about 14. All right. And now drag it and put it in front of my button. Okay, so this would be my home button, and then I can my text tool. This would be maybe my links. Oh. And the next one could be the text tool. Notice this is all happening on layer two, right? This is all happening on layer two on my own layer. I can turn the eyeball off. You don't see the text. Turn it back on. You see the text. And last but not least, click and Say one more. Um, port folio. Get my black arrow tool and move that into position. Use the arrows on my keyboard to line them up. And now I have three buttons. They all use the same button from the library, and then text hovers above on a separate layer. And the text is just static text, special um, font with a white color.